All right, YouTube, welcome back to part 10 or 11, I believe, of the CR125 build. Finally, I believe, I don't wanna jinx myself, but I think I have all the parts we can finally like just get going on this thing, not have any hiccups. We should be able to button up the engine today along with everything else, get all the bearings pressed in the swing arm. I don't remember if I showed the swing arm, but got fully redone. Thanks to Josh, cleaned it up, vapor hone, shined up, looking better than new. Along with a bunch of other parts, all the braking stuff, if you saw, um, if you saw a couple of videos back, I believe I showed this also. So I'll get on with this thing and hopefully finish majority of the stuff done in this video. Along with that, I got a special package from Fathead Racing. This thing's gonna look sweet on there. Got a nice blinged out head. He also sent me another dome along with all the seals and stuff. Also hooked it up with a head for the KX125 along with three or four other domes that I'm gonna try out and see what I like. So shout out to uh, Fathead Racing. I'll talk about it more later on in the video, but if you wanna check out Fathead Racing to get yourself a head, I'm gonna do a comparison to the stock head versus this head and the different domes in uh, future videos. But I'll leave his link down below in the description. Check him out. If you guys are new and you wanna see the CR get finished, make sure you're subscribed. Give the video a thumbs up if you're pumped. Should look pretty sick when it's done. Quit yapping and we'll get into building this thing. Time lapse on some stuff. Doesn't fit, I don't understand. It's a 2002 gasket on a 2002 cylinder. It makes no sense why this wouldn't line up. Of course, right off the start, right off the bat, we got some issues, so what's new? So just to show people, here's the view right here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out the gasket piece. All right, well, I've done some rig stuff on this channel. But as much as I want to throw it together and see how it looks, I don't think it's really worth it. So I guess I'll, they must have sent me the wrong gasket. I'm going to look again, order it tonight, hopefully get it in by Tuesday, Wednesday next week. Maybe it could work. Maybe it would work. It probably would work, but I don't know. I may as well just do it right and get the gasket in. clamps couldn't do the bars because these are oversized bar clamps just realizing now so just uh, ordered uh, the normal 7 8 bar clamps for the Mika bars over there um, other than that got the electron on like I said I'm not doing the using this gasket I got one on order it should be in by Wednesday then I'm still just waiting on the spring should be in everything should be in um, relatively the same time this week so we should be I'm kind of doing random stuff not really going in any particular order but next I'm probably going to press all the bearings into the linkage over here, get that done, ready to go. So once I get the shock ready, we can throw all that in there. I'm just kind of taking my time, not trying to like stress myself out and rush to do it. Slowly but surely, it's getting put back together.
little side note here before I get into it, um, putting all the bearings and stuff into this linkage. Huge shout out to Pivotworks for uh, supplying everything for this build. Every single bearing, every single seal is being replaced. The thing is gonna be brand new. Um, so basically, this kit comes with everything you need to do the linkage. If you're rebuilding a bike or need to replace something, Pivotworks is the place to go. I'll leave the link down below, or uh, you can go to their website, pivotworks.com. If you need to fix up your bike and get it back going again, so let's dive into getting this linkage done. All right, so the linkage is done, as you just saw. It's definitely does not have a shortage on grease, that's for sure. So things are solid, ready to go for uh, once I get the shot good. Not too difficult, take your time, go slow with it, and uh, it's pretty much pretty straightforward. So at this point, I'm kind of all over the place. I don't really have a specific order I'm kind of going in, as you can probably tell, the way I'm doing stuff. Um, no, probably it's not the correct way. I don't care, I'm doing my thing. But yeah, it's just kind of annoying not being able to just kind of finish one thing because I don't have the parts. So I would have liked to just finish the engine, get the radiators, hoses all mounted, have that done. And all I have to worry about is everything else around it. But, but I can't do that, so I'm kind of just doing random odds and ends here and there. So along with that, I'm just trying to take my time, have fun with it, not really stress myself out. I'm really eager to finish it and see the finished bike done. It's been taking way too long. Bike should have already been finished by now. I would normally have talked a little bit more about the Electron. Um, I don't really see this video fitting for that, probably on the first ride video or later on I'll kind of talk about what this is all about. But um, like anything, if you want to check out Lectron, um, honestly it's the way to go. You literally don't have to do anything. I bolt it on, turn the gas on, maybe adjust the idle, and this thing will run perfect. Um, I don't want to jinx it, but that's pretty much uh, Lectron's motto, I believe, or that's my motto for Lectron. As you guys have seen at the KX, don't mind it still being dirty, but the Lectron, Thing has been awesome on this thing. I really have no issues with the thing, but you guys have seen it on this thing if you watch the video. So, pumped on this thing, along with it looking pretty trick on there. Really pumped on it. A lot of you probably expected this just to be on here standard, as it probably will be on all the rest of my future builds. But if you want to look more into it, I'll leave the link below, like I said, and uh, before I really go into depth on it. Huge shout out to Lexion for helping me out and supporting this build. We'll do a little run over on everything, showing you kind of some of the stuff done. It's, everything's getting pretty much the spec bolt kit, all the nickel work stuff. Got them on the triple clamps, all the way down. It's kind of not shined up or cleaned off, so got some grease and stuff here and there. But it's gonna be too clean, it's gonna be so sick when it's done. Get some different angles on this thing. Yes, I could have probably Cerakoted some stuff, but that's not the look I'm going for on this thing. I'm really just going for kind of OEM look, like I did the KX at first. Um, just kind of as if you would buy a new CR125. So, so. I mean, some parts will be a little blinged out, but for the most part, just staying true to that OEM look. Modern OEM look. So that's going to wrap it up for this build video. If you want to follow along before the videos come out, I have a dedicated Instagram, which is at Project Two Strokes. Give it a follow, check it out if you want to stay up to date, along with my personal, at Tyler Monaghan. Uh, subscribe if you're new, give the video a thumbs up, comment down below what else you want to see, what other parts I could possibly put on last minute, if I should change something, some tips, tricks, anything you have with these Hondas. And off that, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.